Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel video. Today, I would like to go over some of the most common positioning errors noted on panoramic radiographs. This example is a good one demonstrating a positioning error can make a big difference in terms of your ability to properly diagnose uh, anatomic landmarks. Looking at this radiograph, if you had to pick, what would you say about the patient's um, head, positioning of the head during the image acquisition? Would you say that the chin is too high or too low? Or would you say that the patient head has been tilted or canted to one side? Or would you say that the patient's head is rotated? And if you can make up uh, a mind, what are or is the feature that you saw that you led to uh, make that decision? So let me know uh, if you can, uh, let me know in the comment section below what the primary positioning area is that I would love to see what you think. Also, the reason this image was referred to me is due to this radiographic appearance in the anterior mandible. The inferior half of this radiolucency appears to be somewhat corticated, whereas the superior half of the border is not as well corticated and it's somewhat ill-defined. So looking at that, patient is asymptomatic given the clinical history. What would be your diagnosis for this lesion? or this area, I should say. I think my main question for you is determine whether this is a normal anatomy or this is an abnormality that uh, requires perhaps a biopsy. And if you think it's one or the other, what is your justification? So take a closer look at this area and let me know what you think. This I'm going to show you another radiograph of this patient that was taken a couple years ago and unfortunately the image quality is not as good because this was a scanned image into a PDF document but um, yes yes you're right it's not very good but this is what we see several years ago and given that I don't know if this may or may not be helpful to you but I wanted to show this to you as well. Now let me go back to our image. So what do you think? My last question here is look at the maxillary sinus. Patient's right sinus appears a little more opaque versus the left maxillary sinus. Are you concerned about it? Is this another normal anatomy that we're looking at? Or what is your opinion? So if you could write down what you think about the sinus as well as the patient positioning and this radiolucency in the anterior mandible, I would love to see what you think and we'll discuss accordingly. Thank you very much and take care.